now that it's daylight, let's see what I got here. Just a little bit left. Landing is right up there at the end of those trees. Mm. Yeah, should go pretty good for Mikey. Pulls them logs off the bank. I'll blend them too, but just to make sure. Kind of a fun little patch to cut. It's challenging. At least cat roads all over the place. And now the ground's all soggy from last night. It was pretty good actually yesterday. Uh, let's see. Now I gotta find me a path up there. Yeah, I'll probably drive this tree straight up the hill. Trees are really fluted on the flat stuff. So I tend to give them a triple cut just to get them low so I can get around a lot easier. Like I said on this 855 with the falling head you're really relying on those tracks to get you places and coming down the hill you're relying on that track again to not slip and you know like the trail food helps with traction but not all the time sometimes it just slides underneath you like a carpet pulling a carpet out from you a rug i gotta get this hemlock stump out of here so i can get up there up this cut bank it's just like really gotta pick your trails up here just uh so you're not messing around too much on the hill and disturbing all the soil. Which, you know, I just disturbed all that soil by ripping that stump out. But that's all right. that there because I gotta go back down there to put them to the road. Come on, we're spinning. Now we're sliding. Pull myself just so I'm 
not on that slick spot. It's not fun when you cut a tree off the stump and you'll slide backwards and it's in your head still. up here has got a lot of mistletoe and it breaks easily like that one just broke 10 feet up the tree most of this stuff has freeze crack or mistletoe and he'll most likely be pulled You can have freeze crack, but it has to go straight with the log, not spiral up the log, then the mill won't take it. Not much for uh, underbrush for me to lay down for a ladder for climbing. Just sticky enough where it's filling the tracks. See, you can kind of push with your head a little bit, but nothing like a hot saw. And sometimes just stretching your boom out will make a difference on climbing up the hill. And all you sometimes need is just a light pull for some traction, which I'm pulling that tree out of the ground. I'll try to use this stump as like a, oh, not good. Yep. Yeah. You got some rich topsoil. And then it gets down to that, oh, that hard clay. Let's see if I can. Loosen some of this up, get some traction. I'll make it look pretty when it's done. stay in the ground. Good times in the Pacific Northwest without your line, which if it wasn't wet, well, I don't need my line. But right now it'd be kind of nice just to get this one end piece. Man, I wish I had a bigger tree to grab here. in my way when I get up there but I'm gonna see if I can push myself up this little bench hey, you gotta get a direct push or that thing will just knuckle over it's annoying 
all I need is like 10 feet and I should be on a old cat road. Let's see if it'll stay. Well, at least I can grab a decent tree that's not gonna come out of the ground on this one. get the rest no problem it's just that a couple cat rows joined together right there now the fun part will be going back down the hill to drive these trees out where I already cut because the road is 50 feet above me it sucks because there's stumps out there when you can fall into the trees it tends to save them out pretty good with this thing but when you gotta fall out there and we're already logged and this thing doesn't do a very good job of guiding the trees like you would a hot saw or a fixed head trees are so nice. Try to cut this stump down and not throw my chain with all those little vineys. get that little patch then I can toss some trees out of the way Old cedar stump right here like I said it you got to pick your lines pretty good like this big old stump from back in the day it's a big tree it was it's just hard to get around and those things i don't know they've been cut for 100 years 80 to 100 years up here and they're still solid
get over there a little more and get this hemlock. That fur is out of my reach unless I shimmy over there. Seems like everything's saving out pretty good. Less pieces to pick up when they save out, you know. But you do have to leave so much down woody as they call it here for bugs and insects and squirrels and chipmunks. Stuff to live in. You gotta leave so much fur. Fur a hemlock, some hardwood, so many pieces per acre. Come on, get off that bar.